lecture will be about the instrumentation of high performance liquid chromatography in this lecture we will discuss the first two components that is the solent reservoir and pumps mobile phase or solent reservoir a mobile phase or solent reservoir hold the mobile phase or solvent the mobile phase reservoir are typically made up of glass that is covered with special caps there are two other components of mobile phase reservoir that is filter or fritz and mobile phase transfer lines filter or fritz that is this part it will filter out any dust or particulate particle if they are present in mobile phase it is dip in the mobile phase from this the mobile phase will enter into the mobile phase transfer line mobile phase transfer line will connect the mobile phase with the other part of the hplc now there are two condition that is isocratic and gradient isocratic or gradient it will determine the number of mobile phase or solvent reservoir that are used for hplc analysis mobile phase transfer line tubing with long length and small diameter stainless steel polyether ether ketone peak and uh, suitable capillary tubing is used to pump the mobile phase through the hplc system so these are the mobile phase transfer line examples are given stainless steel can be used polyether ether ketone can be used and small tubing uh, capillary tubing can be used operating pressure for regular hplc ranges from 5800 to 7000 pounds uh, per square inch that is equal to 400 to 500 bar that is suitable for hplc hardware frit or sinker frits in the mobile phase reservoir that is the, this part of the mobile phase reservoir it is essential to maintain the mobile phase particulate free particulate in the mobile phase if they are present they may cause trouble to the pump injector and may cause damage to column so it as a general rule the mobile phase should be filtered before use in order to remove any particulates sinker or frits or frits that has pore size 5 to 10 micron should be attached at the inlet inning of the tubing that dips in the mobile phase reservoir and that will filter these particulates particles the second component of hplc instrumentation is pumps the mobile phase carries the solute molecule through the column and it will pass towards the detector the close packing of the hplc column does not allow the mobile phase to pass through it will create a resistance in its flow as well as back pressure so in hplc the function of pump is to maintain a constant flow of mobile phase regardless of resistance and back pressure that is created due to the column packing requirements for good pumps it provide a stable flow rate and pressure pulse elimination system easy to operate cost effective and it is available for isocratic and gradient modes of illusion pumps used in hplc are pneumatic or constant pressure pump displacement or syringe type pump and third is reciprocating piston pump first type is pneumatic or constant pressure pump this technique of pressure pump is the most simple inexpensive easy to maintain and easy to operate in constant pressure pump design pressure is generating using a gas cylinder gas such as nitrogen pump the mobile phase into the column by pressurizing the mobile phase from the uh, solvent reservoir in this system the flow rate of the mobile phase is dependent on column resistance in case the in case of pressure drops flow rate changes and directly impact the retention time of the component to be separated if the pressure of the gas drop the flow rate of the mobile phase changes and it will affect the retention time of the uh, 
components that are separated there are some advantages and disadvantages of this pump it provides a pulseless flow rate and it provides a continuous pressure disadvantages are it is not suitable for gradient illusion the flow rate will change if the solvent viscosity will change and the solvent viscosity will change uh, with the temperature change potential for gas solubility in the solvents if the gas is soluble in the solvent there is a potential for solubility if it is soluble in solvent then the pressure will be drop and it will affect the retention time of the component so this is the major drawback of uh, this uh, type of pump working of pneumatic column gas cylinder is used there are two walls one is for air in another one is for out two pistons are used one is the large piston another one is the small piston there are two non return walls and the mobile phase in from the solvent reservoir in this part of the tube and the other part of the tube will connect with the column through which the mobile phase will move out towards the column there are two strokes one is known as forward stroke and reverse stroke if the cylinder or the pistons are in reverse uh, stroke the mobile phase will get into the uh, tube from the solvent reservoir and if it is in forward stroke the mobile phase will get towards the column it mean the mobile phase will move out towards the column and the pressure that are created by the gas cylinder or the gas pressure will move the piston forward and backward second type of pump is positive displacement syringe pump syringe type pump generally consist of cylinder which resemble a syringe that hold the mobile phase up to 50 cm cube hydraulic amplifier is used to activate the plunger uh, or piston it will move either in forward or reverse direction it works on positive displacement by mechanically driven plunger there are two tubes one is known as inlet tube and the outlet tube inlet tube is connected with the solvent reservoir from this the solvent will enter into the pump outlet tube is connected with the column from this the mobile phase will move towards the column so the flow of the mobile phase will be in this direction there are two strokes one is known as forward stroke another one is known as backward stroke when the there is forward stroke the inlet tube will get open and the mobile phase will get into the pump when the mobile phase get into the pump the outlet tube will close and when it get into the pump now the outlet tube will open and the inlet tube will close in order to uh, in order to avoid the back flow now in the forward stroke it will move towards the column now the piston is advanced uh, advanced by a motor connected with a warm gears that provide a smooth flow now these are connected with motor gear or it will provide a smooth flow the rate of solvent delivery is controlled by the voltage of the motor if the voltage of the motor is high the solvent delivery will be high because the piston will move fast and if it if its voltage is low then then the solvent delivery will be low because it will it movement will be slow advantages and disadvantages of syringe type pump first and the primary advantage of uh, pump is to get reproducible illusion volume and peak area irrespective of mobile phase viscosity or column blockages the retractor signal that is plotted against the respective retention time the peak volume or peak retention volume that is equal to retention time multiplied by the flow rate these types of pump uh, provide the constant flow rate or pulseless flow rate which mean that 
it will produce a reproducible illusion volume so here we will get the reproducible illusion volume or peak area they will provide high pressure pulse less flow rate back pressure and viscosity does not affect the flow rate there are some disadvantages they provide low flow rate they provide constant flow rate but low flow rate high cost limited solid capacity and difficulty in frequent refilling for working of syringe type pump it is filled and refilled filled and refilled so this will create a difficulty during analysis third type of pump is reciprocating piston pump it is most widely used type of pump which provide a pulsating delivery of the mobile phase now here this is some disadvantage of reciprocating pump that it will provide a pulsating delivery in order to avoid the pulsating delivery the pulse damper is used it will provide a pulse free delivery towards the column hydraulic chamber carries the solvent all the way through the reciprocating activity of the piston reciprocating is actually the movement uh, in the forward and the reverse direction on backward stroke of the piston when the piston is in backward stroke the solvent from the solvent reservoir get into the pump in this case this valve will open and this valve will close in the forward stroke the mobile phase is deliver deliver to the column now in the forward stroke when it move in this direction now this valve will open and it will close in order to avoid the back delivery towards the solvent reservoir and it will move towards the column in the forward stroke so the mobile phase is pushed into the column through back and forth activity of the piston there is another word used reciprocating dive from pump a motor driving uh, a motor driven piston moves rapidly back and forth in a hydraulic chamber due to this movement a pressure is created on a flexible dive from that pushes the mobile phase towards the column advantages and disadvantages of reciprocating pump is just like in syringe type pump it will also produce a re reproducible illusion volume and peak area irrespective of mobile phase velocity and column blockages high output pressure constant flow rate and smart adaptability this advantage will include the pulsating flow and the pressure in the reciprocating pump but it can be avoided using a pulse damper